Tonight, we're throwing it back to groundbreaking eras in pop culture, and right now, we're taking a look at the 70s. Saturday Night Fever was a major hit, and not only did it put John Travolta on the map, it introduced line dancing to the mainstream. And although country-based line dancing originated before the disco version, it was Travolta's performance in the 1980 film Urban Cowboy that helped to once again bring it to the masses. So tonight, this urban cowgirl is moseying on over to Dallas Honky Tonk Roundup Saloon for my turn at the craze that's got everyone lined up. This is Texas, so it's the land of country dancing. I don't really know how to line dance, but it seems like everybody has a great time doing it. Straight, gay, bi, whatever. It's just a warm, welcoming place. And around these parts, the first step in line dancing is getting them boots shined. Well, I must say, I've never had my boots buffed in public before. So what's the first step in doing this? The first rule to doing someone's boots is do no harm. You want to brush off any extra debris. The first thing we use is actually called a, a saddle soap. Get it nice and wet, mm -hmm. soap it up, and start working around. They are looking so good. Look at how shiny they are. And my boots are envious. You gotta have shiny boots too, you're my partner. Now how important is it to have nice shiny cowboy boots before line dancing? It's very important to have a shiny pair of cowboy boots. You wanna show people that you've arrived. So you wanna stand out when you hit the floor. Now that we both have shiny boots, let's go put these to use. All right, let's go do that lesson. Okay. Jake, see you at the tequila shack. All right, see you guys there, thank you. I love dancing to begin with, and line dancing is so much fun. I love country music. So I hear we're doing the doctor doctor dance, which is yes. quite difficult. Yes, but fun. Well, I'm gonna follow your lead. There's gonna be a four count up, and then a four count back. Turn, left, oh, together. Oh, left, okay. But you're gonna switch Oh, feet. the opposite. So right heel, right toe, left heel. Oops, left heel. This is a long dance. <laughs> yes, you got a high count here. Now we're gonna go into turn. Now that I've had my lesson, I am ready for a cocktail. And as we all know, everything in Texas is bigger. So bring on the drink. All right, Jake, uh, we're looking for something to make us better dancers. Well, then you need the Seven Sins Margarita. Oh, man. It's one of my specialties. So we got the fresh lime, one fresh lime in each. Now, why do they call this the Seven Sins? Well, it's actually a name that I came up with. Siete Leguas means seven leagues. I also have seven ingredients in the margarita, and I use seven drops of Tabasco sauce. Four count four. I mean, or we could do eight counts, like on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> Orange juice, a little splash of sour, shake. It's got a kick to it. It's got a kick. <laughs> Squeeze a fresh orange in it. I will be committing sins tonight, thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled off the doctor doctor. It kept getting quicker and quicker. I messed up a few times, but I was having fun, so that's all that matters. 